So today we're going to be using cardboard to create art-ish. At the very least, we're going to be upcycling it. So you're going to have to forgive a little bit of wiggle. I've got a uh, camera support, but it isn't fantastic. So what you need is cardboard. Um, I'm using some regular cardboard in addition to toilet paper tubes. If you don't have the toilet paper tubes, then you don't need to use them. You can just use regular cardboard. <clears throat> I'm also using pens or pencils to do some of the designing and I have glue. You can basically use any kind of glue. I'm using an Elmer's clear glue, but if you have stick glue, that's fine. If you have hot glue, then it'll get set much quicker. And I'm going to take, this is actually a popcorn box, and I'm gonna take one of the middle sections, which is one of the larger sections, and use it as the base. Now, I've seen this done as the backing for a mirror. So I'm gonna take off some of the short edges or just as some kind of a sculptural artwork. Basically, this is something that's fun to do. You can experiment with it. Cardboard will hold its shape a little bit better than paper because this is essentially going to be quilling. Now, I prefer to have a flat surface, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these other two flaps off And scissors. Sorry. Yeah, you need scissors. Now, this is one of those projects where I really encourage everyone to just do whatever you would like to do. There's no right. There's no wrong. Everybody's is going to be completely unique. Okay? So, here's the base to start with. And what I can do is I can take a toilet paper tube, slightly flatten out the edges so that you've got kind of pointy on either side. And then when I cut that in sections, about a quarter of an inch, again, you don't have to be exact. And then when I've got five or six, three, four, five, six, I can put them up on their sides and start to make a daisy or any kind of flower you'd like it to be. Put one or two more in. And there we go. So that's a daisy. Um, you could put a little drop of glue on each side and create a daisy. If you don't want to go the daisy route, you can take one of your pieces, you can take one of the pieces that you cut off, cut it into a strip. Again, if you want to be precise, you can be precise and make it as exact as you want it to be. And then once you've got a couple of strips, You can take a pen, and I like to have one that has a clip on it so that I can slide the paper right underneath it so that it'll sort of hold it in place for a second while I get started. And then start wrapping it. you've got it wrapped. Once it has that memory, you can start rewrapping it. Okay, so I can make this a spiral this way. If I want it so it will look like this, I can make it tighter 
add some glue onto it. You can spiral around the other direction. And make it into a curly cue. So that it curls both directions. And then you can even glue both ends and have it make it a shape like that. That might take a paper clip to hold still, to hold together. So you can just take your time, figure out what you want your piece to look like. I sort of prefer a five petal flower and then a curly cue up there I'll use the other one so you can see it does work a little bit differently but about the same just wrap it around once you've got it started, and just another spiral there. And however you want it to look is how it's going to look. Okay, you can use the glue to glue it down so that you have a finished piece. And I've also seen that some people like to spray, excuse me, some people like to spray paint it when they're done so that it gives it a consistent look. Like if you spray paint it in gold, then it'll look like gold. Um, so take your time, experiment, have fun. Uh, you can see that the thinner strips tend to bend a little bit easier than the thicker strips. So experiment have fun and share your creations with us we'd love to see what you're up to so stay safe and if you're an introvert please check on your extroverts and join us next week for another craft